Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. All the items that I've been showing you through all of my hauls are items that I purchased at the Dollar Tree on Tuesday, April 14th. I will link that video down below. I am recording, I think, four hauls all together. Um, so I'm just showing you, um, some of the stuff that I purchased. I'm not hauling any of the food that I had bought. So, um, the Dollar Tree has been getting a lot, a lot of stuff in, and I'm pretty impressed on the items that they've been carrying. So I'm also going to be including a couple of Q and A's here at the end. I've been trying to answer a lot of your guys' questions. So let me dive in and let me show you what I purchased. So they're getting a lot of their summer decor out. If you're not familiar with it, you know, it's like the tiki stuff and, this color that they've been carrying and stuff, this, I don't know, you want, like a coral color is just absolutely beautiful. They have baskets and storage containers and all that good stuff. Um, I went ahead and got the oven mitt. Well, I don't want to say oven mitt. Well, it's like a, it's a pot mitt and it has a rubber grip, which I love. I also picked it up in the green because a lot of you know green is my favorite color, but I love this coral color. And that's why I went ahead and picked up this. Um, it's called a slotted basket. They had them in every color um, for the summer decor. And like I said, I'm going to link that video down below. So if you missed it, you can watch it. And I always try my best to show you what is new. Um, once we're able to leave the house more often, I will be going to more Dollar Trees except instead of just the one once a week. So this container is a little over 10 inches long and two and a half inches tall. So I should have picked up a few of these because I'm going to try to organize one of my uh, cabinets upstairs. But for now, that is what I purchased. Um, these Bella one gallon storage container things are like little buckets. Um, they had it in the coral in this green color, which I should have got the coral one, but oh well. I went ahead and just got this green one. These are really nice um, to put underneath your kitchen sink or bathroom sink and put like a scrub brush cleaner or stuff like that. So all you have to do is just pull this little container out and you have all your stuff that you need to clean the bathroom or clean your kitchen or whatever. And these are also even cute to make up for um, goodie baskets for maybe a bridal shower or a baby shower or something like that. Put goodies in there, wrap it up, and there you go. So uh, that is that. They have so many new candles right now, um, but I the only two I picked up on this trip were these. Um, I thought the pictures on them were real pretty. It says, work hard, stay humble, live happy. And it's just, ooh, that does have a scent. Why didn't I smell those? I didn't think they had a scent. Those smell really good. I don't know how well they throw. Um... There's not a lot of candles that Dollar Tree carries that throw really well, but the ones that are the shape like it looks like a, a coffee cup or something has a little sleeve, those burn really good and they throw from the beginning to the end and those are three ounce candles. Most of all candles that the Dollar Tree carries are three ounces except these. So I thought that one was real pretty and then this one is success is series of small series of small things with butterflies. How cute is that? So I picked up those. Um, this, I don't know what they want it, it just says decor. It's in the shape of a mason jar. This thing is huge. Uh, it says USA Freedom and it has these wood, let's see if I can pull that off. Yeah, you can pull this star off if you wanted to. Same with this galvanized one. Now, if you didn't like that, you can flip it over, paint it, do what you want, make your own thing. So just don't think because that has all that one side that it has to stay that way. No, do your own thing and do something on the other side. Now, I know some of you said that, you know, you wish the Dollar Tree would like calm down on the glitter. I'm with you on that. Um, the glitter is just a pain. I mean, if you have it on a few things here and there, that's great. But it seems like 95% of their signs and decor has glitter. Why? I don't know. But I'm sure you can scrape it off. Or I think some of you said you could spray hairspray or something over it. That'll keep it from shedding everywhere. But how big is this? I don't even know how big this is. So it is 
over 12 inches. So about 12 and a half, 13 inches tall for that. Um, they had a, quite a few different ones of these. I just picked up two of them. Um, these are Bubbly's Animals Orbs, ages eight and up. So you have a green frog. Let me cut this open and give you guys a better look. I know you guys really appreciate me opening things. These would have been perfect for Easter. Oh, look at that. Looks like it has fish eggs in there. So there's the frog, and this one is really cute. It's a cat. They also had, um, from what I could see, I think it was like a fish and a unicorn. And they had all different colors. Like I said, I will link that video down below, and you might be able to see. Well, that looks kind of scary. It's a cat. They're kind of cool, though. The orbs. It's like frog eggs, fish eggs, don't they? Not much of a scent. They're kind of sticky, though. Let's see if they set up. No, they don't set up. Okay, um, this is by Crafter Square. These are sponge dabbers. I'm going to be working on another DIY. If you ever want to check out my Dollar Tree DIYs, I will try to link that one link down below. If not, you can go to my playlist, click onto my playlist, and then click on Dollar Tree DIYs. And I can't even tell you how many are in there, um, but maybe those videos will help you uh, with some ideas on how you can use some of your products that you have purchased in from the Dollar Tree. So I needed these for a DIY. Like I said, these are sponge dabbers. You get three of them. There's three different sizes. It looks like they have like little wooden um, handles. It's kind of crooked, but that's what that is. So that these are exactly what I needed, which I was going to use one of the makeup sponges from what I hauled last time, but figured, well, I'll just get these and use them. Um, here's another hanging decor. This is a galvanized. It says, you're a grand old flag. They had a couple of different ones, but like I said, if you don't like that, just go ahead and flip it around and do your own thing on that side. And it also comes with um, twine if you wanted to hang it. You can even take, I don't know, buy multiple ones of these and do you do your own garland. So if you have someone that's in the service, maybe you can write their name on the back here and use it for a banner or stuff like that. So yeah, I'm sure these are going to go quick once people start going out and getting things. Um, and the last item I picked up is this notebook. It says, you're baking me crazy. You get 60 sheets. They had a, quite a few different ones. They are up by the register. Be sure you always check out the stuff up the register, also on the plastic strips down all the aisles because you would be surprised on what you'll find. It does have some Velcro right there. And then you open it up and you have your lined paper. So I thought that was cute, actually. So yeah, that's what I picked up. So that is everything that I'm going to show you in this haul. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local Dollar Trees sooner or later. So I'm going to um, answer a couple more of your guys' questions that I had written down. And like I stated before, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment in this video or you can go over to my Instagram, which I will link down below and you can ask me there. Ruby, stop looking. Oh, look, we got Joey and she's not snoring. Joey. Hi, Jojo. Cute little Joey. Okay, so... Um, what do my kids like to do? Well, let's see. A lot of you know I have five kids. Um, my oldest daughter, Adeline, she's 23. She really likes going to... Ruby, stop looking. She really likes going to concerts, um, camping, being outdoors. That's what she likes to do. My other daughter, Sam, Samantha, she's 21. She really likes to ride her horse. Um, she has a horse, a dog, and two cats. Um, she works at a vet. <laughs> she scared Ruby. She didn't know what that was. So she and all my kids are animal lovers, but she really, really loves her animals. Um, so she really likes to hang out with her animals, her horse, and she's a huge Justin Bieber freak. Not I don't want to say freak. I should say fan. She has met him. I don't know how many dozens of times and hung out with them, went to church. Um, so yeah, she's really gotten to know him and Haley. Um, so she really likes doing that. 
Um, my daughter, Grace, she's the one that's 18. Um, she likes to shop, I guess. I would say she likes to shop and sleep. Probably what every 18-year-old likes to do. Um, speaking of Grace, she is in the process of working at a new job. Um, she's going into health care um, since that is in high demand right now. So she's in um, orientation all week. So see how she likes that. Ruby, what is your problem? Um, let's see. Then we have Ava. She's 13 and she's the one that really, really loves art. She loves designing things, painting things, creating things. Um, so that's what she really likes to do. And then Alex, my son, he's 10 and he loves playing video games and he likes playing sports. So that is what they like to do. Um, another question, are my two Bostons from the same mom? No. Ruby came from in, up by Indianapolis and she was the only girl in her litter. And then Ella came from Michigan and there was only, I think, two girls and one boy in that litter. So yeah, they're not related. And Josie, she came, my French Bulldog right there, she came from Ohio, from a breeder there. Um, one more question. What are my favorite things to do? Honestly, nothing. I like to do nothing sometimes, most of the time. But yeah, I really don't like doing anything. I think I'll leave it at that. And let's see, do we have another question? What is or was my favorite store to shop at? My favorite store that I love shopping at was Little Whiskers. Do any of you remember that store? I don't know if it was just a Fort Wayne thing, um, but it was a store that carried nothing but Hello Kitty. It was out at Glenbrook Mall. And I would always take my allowance money there and buy tons of stickers and gum and erasers and pencils and pens and crayons and all that fun stuff. I loved that store. I would spend all my money and time in that store. So that was back in the early 80s. So I was really bummed when they took that store out. So yeah, I would say that was my favorite, favorite store to ever shop at. And I really do miss it. So those are going to be the Q&As that I include in this video. I have um, another haul to do and I'll be answering some more questions. So I hope you all enjoyed. If so, I would love a thumbs up. Be sure you click on that subscribe button. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Thank mm -hmm. you.